All right, and I cannot believe I'm actually going to be saying this, but welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Pokemon Scarlet Randomizer Nuzlocke. And uh, I know that you guys are going to probably be asking yourself, is Prox, uh, what did you do and how did you fix this problem that you're having here in the Pokemon Scarlet Randall Lock? Well, guys, uh, if you don't know what has been transpiring during the last episode, is that for some reason, I don't know why, but Alfreneda here in, in the Yuzu area of me trying to play this game, for some reason, there is this big massive bug here uh, for just the uh, version 1.00 and that is because that for some reason here in the alternated gym is that if you try to go and literally set up here with the gym puzzle itself it will crash every single time well apparently by me doing a little bit of some digging through some research and whatnot uh, I think I can actually go and switch between the dock mode to the handheld mode on Yuzu and I can actually be able to play through the gym puzzle here in the handheld mode without any type of problems now I have heard that there is some things where if you go through like the sort of battles and so what it could probably crash as well but we'll cross our fingers and hopefully that does not happen because I do want to continue onwards with this series my goal is to actually reach to the Elite Four or Battle Arvin that was that was the other thing that was supposed to be going on was with the whole Titan situation all that stuff uh, but we'll get into more within the Titans uh, a little bit later because I'll go and talk to you guys about that during the last episode uh, but for right now uh, this is our team that we already do have if you guys don't remember, uh, we have Gaiden now that is our brand new Pokemon on our team and whatnot. Uh, but so what I'm going to do here uh, for our time within this gym puzzle is that I'm going to be doing some edits here and there uh, because I'm not going to go really in too much depth into this whole like annoying gym puzzle exercise because it's really annoying and it's really a rinse and repeat every time. So I will show you guys like how the whole uh, training exercise actually works. But after the other times that actually happen, I'll just cut out to where the uh, the battles are going to be taking place every so often but also yeah also as well too i totally forgot we should probably go through a little bit of a team recap and everything so i'll show you guys all the different moves that we have here on our team nothing really too much of importance though because nothing hasn't really ever changed i don't think so everything should be fine as it should be there all right and i think with that being said in mind let's go finally talk over here to dendra and uh, let's get ourselves with some exercise ready now hopefully you guys do also go and check out on the dark cloud 2 let's play as well because we are of course going to be going and jumping into some more of the Mount Gundor area which I'm super pumped about because uh, not only is that this area uh, pretty short but we should be able to hopefully reach out over to the boss in no time soon because like I know that during our uh, time in uh, in Benicio it took like a really long time I think like almost about like maybe eight or nine episodes so hopefully if we can try and cross all through at least like uh, I want to say like maybe uh, maybe if we do like maybe three different dungeons or somewhat around there we should probably make it like maybe around like five or six episodes and we should probably kind of do it just like what we did before in the uh underground channel so we'll see what happens we could probably have it maybe a little bit longer but we'll uh cross that bridge if there's gonna be anything crazy but yeah look at this guys we can finally get into the gym test and we can finally be able to do this do the emotional spectrum practice so let's go and finally see what this is gonna be all about so I believe you actually have like different buttons here. You have like your A, your B, your X, and Y buttons. And every time if there's a uh, certain emotion that you have to do, you have to press on exactly that exact button and try to at least do what you need to uh, try to do here. Now, it doesn't really matter what you like try to do here. So we're going to press B. Yeah, so we're going to just have to press B for a little bit. And uh, you'll see like the little meter up there. And uh, once you get it right into the exact spot they'll go right into the other one as well okay so we have to look surprised here yeah there's also like a happy face one and also with a uh, happy face one and also with the angry one yeah it doesn't really matter if it's like great or perfect it, it just matters that as, as, as long as you can uh, at least just accomplish all of this you should be fine to well at least try to complete off with this whole puzzle itself yeah, because I, I don't think there's really, like, a failure to this. I don't really think so, because, like, I, I don't think I've seen anybody ever really uh, ever get to fail this. But I remember uh, back in my Violet Let's Play, I, I, I think I originally uh, kind of brought up, I think, like, GTA 5 a little bit with, like, the whole, like, yoga practice or whatever that happened, well, kind of happens here. That, that, that kind of reminds me exactly like this. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. We got it. Perfect. Okay. And let's just do one more. Yep. Show me all your joy. We're just going to bring it all the joy. Uh, yeah, this part just gets really annoying because they just just keep on pressing the A button here for a really long time, and hopefully Dedra will actually bring us into the battle at this point. All right, oh here we go. Nope, wrong one. Okay, let's do it again. So, 
Hopefully it's gonna be there. There we go. Oh no. There, that's perfect. That's a little bit better. Come on. Okay, are we almost done? Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'll be cutting this out here in no time soon. What when we start going to the next fuel that phases? Because it's gonna be exactly like this. But now we're finished. Okay. With that being done in mind, we got ourselves with our very first trainer battle. So that was awesome. I can't stop grinning after the witnessing such a perfect power of expression. But that's enough of the warm-up. So now let's go and really put on those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. Alright, and let's see what we got here. So you gotta keep on moving. This is no ordinary battle. So this is a workout. Oh, man. I, I, I'm just really nervous and hopefully that the game does not break like after the fact that this happens. But everything seems like it's working fine. So... Right now we got ourselves with a battle with a Haunter, which that's not too much of a problem because we do have Shadow Ball here. Hex, that may probably hurt a little bit, but hopefully not as much. Wow, it actually almost brought it down to half there for a second. But I think one Shadow Ball from us should be able to hopefully conquer this out. There we go, look at that, Haunter's already finished. Now speaking about Haunters, we've seen Gengars around here on Area 6, and I already went and grabbed out our counter out there for that a little bit a while ago. But we do have a Larvitar. Um... Now, we do have Gaiden, and I wonder if we could go and probably switch around and make ourselves become, like, an Ice-type Terra and probably knock this guy out. Or, we could actually go and bring out with Amy. Yeah, let's bring out with Amy. Why not? I think Amy should maybe be a little bit fine out here. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hmm. It's just a Larvitar, right? I don't think Larvitar really should have too, any, too much about anything scary. Probably may have like bulldoze or something. Wow, it has interpret sword. So this thing literally is now a uh, oh, what's his name? Um, I know that there's the, the Zamazetta and Zashian. So I think he has the Zashian ability there. Okay, so we'll have to probably go and maybe set up for play rough, maybe? Yeah. Because you're also dark type, right? So I think if I set up for a play rough there, that should maybe be super effective. I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to see what happens here. Alright, so now we have Steel-type Terra. That should kind of, hopefully, kind of help things out for a little bit. I want to say so. And then what is this going to become? Is this going to become, like, a, a Dark-type? Or is this going to become just a Rock-type Larvitar? It becomes a Rock-type Larvitar, so... Anything could be possible with this guy. Because he could probably have, like, maybe EQ or something. But I think if we could try to land it. Oh, we avoided the... Uh, of course, he avoids the attack. Okay, so he has Sandstorm. Okay, and that's not as bad as what I was thinking about, but let's go set for another one. Here we go. Uh, that, that's effective damage. Stone Edge, can we avoid it? Yes, we can. Okay, that is pretty good. Yeah, and we don't even have to worry about getting buffed by the Sandstorm because since we are Steel-type, I don't think we have to take any of those, of those hits at all, so... There we go, and Levitar is already gone and finished with, and that is a perfect thing right there. Now, I don't know if we have the options to literally heal up on our Pokemon or whatnot, but maybe Dedra will probably take care of that for us within the, with, well, within the next part. But, if you guys don't know, I am going to go and edit off, uh, edit off uh, here with this part, just so that we can go and jump into the next phase that's going to happen. So, I'll see you guys in just in a little bit after what I'm done with the second phase of this annoying exercise that I have to go through, but... Here we go. Alright, and there we go, guys. So, hopefully this one is now completed off. And uh, so, cover the sweat and overflow with the motion. That was an impressive round. So don't, go, so, don't give up just yet. It's time for another battle. So, hold on out, I guess, with the lactic acid. Okay. Let's see what this guy has to offer. So, my goal is to grow strong and build muscles. Well, I, all I have to say, man, is just go to the gym. <laughs> That's the only thing that I can just say to build us a muscle. That sounds with a jump bluff. Well, this is just an easy thing out here just with Molten alone. Okay, well, here we go. So this guy actually has three uh, of uh, Pokemon that, that are out here. So he does have Acrobatics. Ouch, that doesn't do as much, but let's go and light up with a Torch Song here. We should probably go and heal up our Pokemon because it seems like we don't have the option to go and do that just... Uh, like, just out, uh, well, out of, out of the uh, battlefield and whatnot. So we kind of have to do it in the actual battle that's going on. Just to make sure... All right, so we do have a Gamora coming out. Um, we kind of went through this from before, didn't we? 
again, we have to figure out how this the more about works. Because again, I'm not all that too familiar with this Pokemon, even though that we have seen it before in the past. So let me see. So Glimora Weakness. Steel, Water, Psychic, and Ground. Well, we do have the right mod for the job. So we'll have to bring out Amy out here. So for some Metal Claws or something or a Flash Cannon. See how much damage that's going to do. I think we still have a, uh, a Metal Coat, I think, still thrown out onto uh, on Amy here still. All right. You got this, Amy. Just make sure that you can just withstand out throughout this annoying Gamora stuff. Uh, so we're going to go and quickly heal up on our guy. Heal up right onto Molten just so that we don't have to worry about any type of problems that happen afterwards. There we go. So that's all good. Oh, and of course, you have your own Sandstorm as well. Seems like everybody has a Sandstorm up in here. What's going on? Okay, well here we go. Flash Cannon. So let's see how much damage that this is going to do. Hopefully it does enough. Ooh, it actually does quite a bit, but almost down and out. Power gem. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us, though. No, it's not very effective. No, it's not even a fire type move, so it's all good. Here we go. Let's set up for another one and blow this Gamora out of here. Nice. Yeah, because I know that before when we went and battled that over at uh, Gita's uh, champion battle, I know that that was a uh, pretty annoying Pokemon right there. Oh, and we also do have Gumshoes. Ooh, now I don't know if he's going to have anything that's going to be fighting related, but let's go and switch around. Uh, we could go into Demon, maybe, or go into Iris or something. Well, let's go into Molten. I think we should be fine with Molten, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, is that this Gumshoes is going to probably have some normal-type moves. So, I don't think we really have to go and worry about all of that too much. So, let's see. I may probably just go and turn myself into... Well, maybe not go into Terra typing right away, because... We don't really have that option anymore. Um, let's do some Flay Flores. Let's try this out. So, Ghost Juice is going to probably turn into like a full normal typing Pokemon. Or, I don't know if it ever has like a fighting typing as well. But, no, it's going to go all pure normal out here. I think we should be okay. Yeah, Ghost Juice are pretty easy Pokemon to hopefully at least be able to knock out here. Oh, wow. Really close to it though, too. That's actually kind of funny. This man actually throwed his own move. I thought he was going to go and probably suffer like a return or something. Ouch. Oh, wow. This is actually be an insult to injury. <laughs> there we go. And right from the sandstorm itself. Already went in and taken out gum shoes. Yeah, there's no way around that, dude. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and also, too, of course, we have to get buffed just by a little bit, but not as much. And there we go. Level up for, for Iris there. And what's the learn Swords Dance? That is actually not bad. That will really help us out, not only just with the muscle band, but uh, some other stuff as well. Um, okay, well, Dragon Dance, though, is attack and speed, but Swords Dance is just going to be just only for the just for the attack. Ooh. For me, personally, I would just rather just take Dragon Dance, because at least that will boost up, like, two different stats instead of just having one. So, both Swords Dance and Dragon Dance, don't get me wrong, they're both really good. Uh, but I, I would rather, personally, just go and take D Dance instead. So, there we go. Yeah, I'd rather just get the added extra stat stat increase for our speed, though. If anything had to happen, like, once we actually have, like, a Haxorus during our time of the uh, Elite Four stuff. But good job, you made it all the way through the ESP exercise. So you passed the test, no doubt about it, congrats. But you're not done just yet. Sprint over to the lobby and a staffer at the double. Now the report your passing grade is formally finished with the gym test. All right, so now we're all done with it. I thought we actually have one more to go. I didn't know that we were going to have to just do only just do those two. But that was actually pretty nice. And at least we got ourselves with a complete over there for it. And I think with all that being said in mind, I guess we can finally go and end off with this episode for today. Because we're going to go and hold off on the Alfred and the gym for the next time. And I'm still going to do this in handheld mode just because of the simple fact is I'm going to be a little bit too nervous going into the gym battle. Because I don't really want to have to go and uh, literally face off with the same type uh, type of thing that is going to happen within the gym puzzle. Where, where the game's going to like completely crash on me. So I think from here on out, just going to go all handheld mode version uh, here for Yuzu. Uh, for the time being and hopefully uh, we don't run into any more crashes or anything like that but hopefully you guys will enjoy the handheld mode resolution a little bit better than the dock mode I know that unfortunately uh, with the dock mode it's actually a little bit better and you get like a much better uh, frame rate and stuff like that but I guess we're kind of have to deal with this for a little while but anyways I'll, I'll see you guys then and uh, stick around for Dark Cloud 2 and of course peace